they're having an election there uh, at the end of this week and watching how um, the mainstream media and uh, well I don't even know what you'd call it I guess you know the fact that it's, it's very weird there seems to be this massive culture of forwarding around a lot of stuff they still send around a lot of kind of like internet circular jokes there but more and more and more it seems to be about politics there's a lot of um, people sending around stuff that's uh, you know, vicious campaigns against a particular candidate or whatever, poorly, poorly sourced, you know, um, when you actually go to look and see where these things have come from, these supposed websites in the US or Canada that have been writing such and such a thing about Brazil's election, and when you go to them, they're kind of like the, the kind of the sort of like wild-eyed fanatic websites that you probably, even if they told you what the weather was, you wouldn't want to believe it necessarily, you know? Um, that's really interesting to me. I mean, you know, now, and, and I was thinking about this, that people are able to get information from such a wide variety of sources, and I think that we thought for a long time that this kind of democracy of views, particularly in the, in the kind of the sphere of, well, well, actual democracy, like in terms of informing yourself about issues in an election and voting, was going to change the world, that we were all going to be, like, way better informed. And actually, you know what? I really think that, that actually the reverse might be happening. I think that we're probably able more and more and more to choose where we look at things. There's nothing actually actively challenging our points of view on anything. You know, so for example, sort of as, you know, died in the wall, sort of Chardonnay socialist or whatever as I am, I probably could just live my life reading websites that totally agreed with every single thing that I think and think that I was completely well informed. And actually, it's bizarre. I mean, this had never really occurred to me until I saw this stuff and was thinking, well, actually, a lot of these people don't watch the mainstream media news outlets and that's fair enough because they're quite politically motivated in Brazil and not in an overt way they're, they're just it's just it, the the political kind of agenda is there but it's never you know everybody knows it's there everybody knows it's biased they will just pretend they're impartial whatever so um, you know so, so people say oh, I don't believe anything the media says about politics um, but they're perfectly happy to believe these you know these these emails that people send them from bizarre kind of sources and and so this has actually made me really think about the, the quality of the information that we're getting now and, and, and how on earth uh, this is actually helping democracy. Maybe it's not. Maybe what we've done is in some way, you know, in, in allowing any, any view to have an equal weight of importance, we've kind of let this immense genie out of the bottle where we all think we're really well informed and no one really is. As to how that will change the way I live, I really don't know. I mean, I think that journalists probably should think about this to think well, what is it that is I mean I think that here in New Zealand we have possibly political apathy for maybe different reasons but how is it that we try to engage people on this stuff how is it that we try to convince people that actually we are doing our best to keep them informed about stuff that there isn't a secret agenda at play that blogs and, and, and Twitter and so on are part of a makeup of information but they're not everything you know, they can't be, they shouldn't be, and why on earth would we think that they ever were? How have we gotten ourselves into this position of thinking that we're more likely to believe something if we read it on a blog than we are if we read it in the Dominion? You know, Dominion Post, sorry. Um, I don't know, but, you know, and is it, even, is it even as big a problem as I think? Or isn't this, is this just an extension of what people used to do anyway, which was not read the paper, not read the news and talk to their mates in the pub? I just don't know.